what's the next thing in the world or what I'm gonna do? No, I was like, okay, I pick my head up. Don't get comfortable with that with that job. Don't get comfortable with that chick. There's so much better chicks that you can pull. There's so much better that you can become. YouTube, what do you do? It's your boy Steph, man. Welcome back to another cold video. We're gonna dive into a cold video topic. But before we do, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Steph is Cold. Make sure you guys also follow me on Twitter at Steph is Cold. Today's video topic is gonna be on the importance of not being content in life. And the reason why I wanna share, share my thoughts on this video is because a lot of guys always DM me and ask me what motivates me, what keeps me motivated, what keeps me driven, why aren't I, why am I not as motivated as you, right? And I'll tell you guys a story, right? When I didn't make the basketball team and, you know, um, I had dreams and aspirations when I was younger to go to the NBA. You know, we all probably had um, dreams and aspirations to be a professional, um, a, a professional athlete or be a cop or be a doctor or a nurse. And, you know, saying, unfortunately, things don't turn out. You know, life doesn't turn out that way. You know what I'm saying? We don't, you don't get what you want. You get what you deserve. You feel what I'm saying? So life doesn't always turn out all oh, peaches and cream. Oh, I'm going to go to the league. And then you're just not tall enough. You're not, not good enough. And then it's like you don't have that great opportunity. Or, oh, I'm going to be a nurse. But who's going to have to pay for school? What if you don't have great grades? What if you really put the work in? What if you were content? Right? And that's why... I want to talk about me. I wasn't content when I didn't make the basketball team. I wasn't content. I didn't, oh, it's the next thing in the world. Oh, what am I going to do? No, I was like, okay, I pick my head up. I think about the things that I can do and the things that I can improve on. Okay, track. I can go run track. Track is around the corner. Okay, bet. So since track is around the corner, let me run track. I'm good at track, but guess what happens? I learned another lesson. Prize. I got kicked off the track team. So... Now what you gonna do? You think I cried about me not playing basketball, which is my first love? You think I also cried about track? No, it hurt it. But I was like, let me pick my head up and not let me be content with this. I have to improve and I have to get better. If I had the mindset of just being content, if I have the mindset of just being the same, being regular, I would not improve. That's our problem. It ain't just like, <laughs> you got to understand, like, this ain't just about your physique or what you wear, you know what I'm saying, or who you're around. It's, this is about your skincare, too. Y'all be content with y'all skincare, too. That's why today's video is going to be sponsored by t -Tin. You see my skin, right? You can tell the effects of the t -Tin skincare line and all it is is four steps we have a wash that you can use every single day we also have a exfoliator and they have a moisturizer with spf 20 to help with damage and sun rays to your face when you're out in the sun so your skin can stay on glow mode and they have a peel moisturizer you can use to help your skin stay hydrated and silky and smooth at nighttime. g hella reviews on why the products are super good and you can see my face you can see me you see how i'm looking it comes with an instruction card too so you ain't looking lost like mm, what am i doing you got an instruction card to know exactly what to do step by step with pictures and because t henley is sponsoring today's video they're offering my viewers a great deal just click the link in the description and you'll get 30 percent off your first box plus a free gift don't miss out on this amazing deal click that link and get started today now since now that we're older, we're not 15, 16, 17, 18 anymore, Steph. You're 25. I can't I can't live in the past. I can't be worried about what happened years ago and stuck in my brain in years ago mode. I have to be in go mode and achieve and do more mode because I'm not content with my life. All of us right now, in order for, uh, for us to grow, to get to the next level, G, you have to be in uncomfortable situations. Maybe situations to the point when your back is against the wall and you have nothing else to do but get better and improve. That's not being, that, that is not being content. 
But when you content, you comfortable, you self loathe yourself. You can't you can't grow and be comfortable. You just can't, G. <laughs> you you can't. You can't. I remember when, you know, I um first got my Hellcat and my boy texted me. He said, Man, don't get comfortable now. This this just the beginning for you. And you know what? He's a hundred percent correct. Because what happens is we lose that 100 pounds, we 300 pounds, we lose that 100 pounds, and we walk around here acting like we all this and all that. Like we arrived. Like we made it. Like, nigga, you still on level fucking one. You ain't do shit. Like, we, like we've done something. Nah. You made an accomplishment, but there's still much more to accomplish. You know, I heard uh, Brandon Carter, shout out to Brandon Carter. I heard Brandon Carter say, um, don't be so quick to celebrate your wins. And it's okay to celebrate a win if you ain't had a win in a long time. I swear it is okay to do that. But don't be so quick to think you arrived somewhere. That's what my friend was trying to tell me. Basically, he was saying, Steph, there's so much more in you to unlock. Don't get content. Don't get comfortable with the Hellcat. Don't get comfortable with that with that job. Don't get comfortable with that chick. Don't get comfortable with that position because there's so much more that you can do. There's so much better chicks that you can pull. There's so much better that you can become. But what does that require? What is what does that require? It requires you getting uncomfortable. It requires you days of sacrificing. Days of oh man, I don't feel like doing it. And you keep doing it over and you do it over and over and over and over. You get some sort of superiority complex a little bit because they could never do what you do. That's why they're content. They skin can never get like yours. They physique can never get like yours because they're content with the McDonald's. They're content with the 40 hours a week work. They were, they're content with, oh, I got to wait till I get paid. They're, they're content with, oh, I can't afford it forever and, or, and ever and ever and ever and ever. They're content with, oh, I'm not confident enough. Oh, I just don't want to do it. Oh, I'm a loser. Is, is that who you want to be? And then you're going to see that guy that's not content with life and he getting all the girls, he's getting all the attention, he's getting the best paying jobs. He's an entrepreneur, he's on his shit, he has influence. He's he's doing what he's supposed to do. He wasn't comfortable. When it comes to getting lean and you want to get in shape, bro, sometimes, you know, you start at 2,700 calories, then you got to bump your calories down another 200. Then you get to 2,500, and you got to bump that shit down to about 2,300. Another 200. Now you at 2,300. Then, you know, it ain't budging, ain't moving no more. So now you at 2,000 calories a day. So now you're like, whoo, I started at 2,700. Now I'm at 2,000. It's still not budging. It's, you still want to get leaner. So now what? You got to bump another 200, 300 calories. Now you eating 1,700 to 1,800 calories a day. But guess what you had to do, my nigga? You had to get uncomfortable. You had to get uncomfortable for a short period of time to get to that desired body fat level. And there is absolutely no other way around it. Oh, Steph, I ain't, I ain't finna be eating 1,800 calories. Well, well, G, get to stepping. Get to stepping. You better be doing at least 15,000 steps a day. Get to stepping. Because you cannot be content. This is, a, this is the importance of not being content. Yo, 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 old friends, yo, yo, your family members that's judging you from wanting to do better. You know what I'm saying? Your ex, that's the, you know, the, 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 the dumb girlfriend that you with, you in a relationship with her, she holding you back. She wants you to be content. She wants you to be that fat bitch. That fat, soft-ass bitch. No, oh, it's okay to skip to skip everything. That's what she wants. It's so that's that's being content. So don't 
it, don't get mad at the winner. Don't get mad at the guy that's not that, that's not finna be doing that. That has his shit straight. That's okay with being uncomfortable. Because I promise you, bro, <laughs> something gonna come up, an opportunity is gonna present itself, and you're not gonna be ready. Because you was content with life. And you know deep down inside, you know what you're capable of. And you know that if you wasn't content, maybe you would have been ready for that opportunity. But the reality of it is, G, we be in our own way. We know what we need to do to get better. We know what we need to be doing, who we need to be around. We know we need to let her go. We know we need to let these friends circle of influence go because they ain't no good for us, G. But we so comfortable and content, we can't help it. You know you're supposed to be getting your ass up at 5 a.m., G, Monday through Friday. But you're so content and comfortable with the fucking failure of your life, you're going to keep doing the cycle every day till you die. And the worst part about life is when we get to that finish line and we regret everything we've done. Not the regret of, damn, they, I wish I could take them with me. The regret of failure. Damn, I wish I'd have done that. I wish I wouldn't have been in my comfort zone. I look at other YouTuber guys, man, and they be vlogging and stuff like that, man. And people love, love to see the vlog. I, you know what I tell myself? I need to get out of my damn comfort zone, Steph. And I need to start vlogging so I can grow. Because if I get out of my comfort zone, I can grow. But guess what? I'm in my own way. I have to get out of my own fucking way if I want to grow. So I'm going to start doing vlogs. You cannot be content in life. You got to want to do better. You got to want to go to different places, man. Get your passport, man. Get out your, get out your, uh, you know, your hometown that you've been living in for the last 18 years. Have you drove in five, six hours out of a state, bro? Man, go to a different state, man. Stay in the Airbnb, man. Find out where the local bars at, the local lounges, local clubs, the good eats, the good gyms, where the good vibes and the good energy is at and, and, and build off of that. Why are you so content in that bum up, bum bum ass, fucked up ass city? Why you want to be a part of that and do all that? I'm just saying, G, you can do better. Go to the go to the good gyms. You could do better. You can see better. Why are you so content with you not being lean, G? Why are you so content with that? Why are you so content with the belly fat flapping every time you walk and it's just flapping and jumping and shrumping? Why are you so content with that? You can do better. Why are you so content with living in the hood, bro? You know you want to live in the suburbs, G. You can do better, but you content with that. But you know in order for you to do better, you got to be uncomfortable that's today's video man don't be content with nothing in life because the moment you get comfortable that's when shit start to creep up on you i promise you that's the video for today my g's don't forget to like this video man comment subscribe holla back at your boy